Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're going to be taking a look at this brand new 2023 Ford Transit. Now this particular Transit is a T350 dually model, so it does have the dual rear wheel, and it is finished in blue metallic. Now this is also the passenger crew van. Now there's also a cargo version, uh, but this is the passenger crew. And again, this is the 2023. This is actually a brand new model. This is one of the first 2023 Transits that we've received here at McPhee Ford. And we're gonna take a quick walk around the outside here, uh, sort of starting with the front end. Now this one is finished in blue metallic. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit dirty. Uh, we just did receive this one just today, so it's brand new off the truck. Uh, but we'll take a walk around the outside here. Uh, not much has changed for 2023. Uh, the design is, is very much the same. Uh, we do have the sort of gloss black housing here uh, with the headlights. And this one does not have the fog lights, although you can option in fog lights uh, if that's something you're looking for. Uh, but yeah, the, the front end design here hasn't changed much. We do have these uh, sort of heat extractors there on the top of the hood. I'll give you a look at the window sticker for this particular Transit. Uh, so you see we do have the 2023 right there, and it does have the 148 inch wheelbase. And here are some of the options that this particular Transit has, which brings the price to $75,000. Uh, this is the, uh, the passenger crew vans are a little bit more expensive than the cargo versions uh, of the Transit. So that's why the price uh, may be a little bit higher. And uh, that price is also in Canadian dollars. Uh, so just keep that in mind. We are in Canadian pricing here. I uh, know being a dually version, it does require the marker lights. So we do have marker lights there on top of the, uh, just above the windshield and also here on the side. Uh, so that is a federal mandation uh, because these are a little bit wider than the regular and uh, non-dually versions. Uh, but we'll look at the mirrors here. Uh, these are the power folding mirror option. It also has the turn signal, uh, but it's a dual convex mirror and it does have the blind spot system up there in the corner. There's also a sort of longer uh, arm option for the mirrors, uh, but this is the short arm version of it. So we do have the uh, sort of front uh, sliding door here with the window. Um, it is not tinted, but of course we can do a privacy glass there uh, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, so this is the sliding door uh, for the passenger side. And we also do have the running board down there as well. And again, this is the 148 inch wheelbase and it is the high roof version. Uh, so this is actually the largest uh, van that is available. We do have the uh, dual doors in the back as well with the window as well. It also has the defrost back there. It also has the rear parking sensors and we do have a tow package uh, for this particular transit as well. So it does include the four and seven pin connectors there as well as the class four uh, trailer hitch as well. And this one is all wheel drive. Uh, so we do have that all wheel drive badge there as well. What's nice about the transit is that if you opt for the all wheel drive, uh, the ride height does not actually increase. Unlike other uh, vans, uh, the, usually they increase the ride height a little bit uh, to accommodate the all wheel drive system. Uh, but the transit stays the same height uh, in terms of the loading floor. So that is certainly nice to see. Again, we do have the dually version back here. It does use a steel wheel. That is a 16 inch steel wheel wrapped in a 205 75 uh, van tire. And if we take a step inside of this transit van, again, this is the high roof version, so this is the highest uh, roof option available. So we do have a, a lot of space up there, of course, uh, with that high roof. And this one does have the cloth seat option, uh, sort of the black with the sort of gray face bucket here. Uh, they are manually operated and there are, are there's vinyl seat options. There's also leather seat options. Uh, so there's lots and lots of different varieties for these seats. But if you look at the door panel here, uh, we do of course have power locks up here, power windows, and the power mirrors are operated uh, from right here. It does include the power fold, so we can actually push this knob up and that will uh, power fold the mirrors right there. Uh, so that's certainly cool to see. Uh, we also have automatic headlights and some of your interior lights there as well. Uh, this one does have rubber floors. Rubber floors are all standard and most transits do come with rubber floors. Uh, so nice rubber floors keep everything clean. Nice easy step to get inside as well. But now that we are inside, we take a look at the key fob here. Uh, we do have the uh, sort of switchblade key here and it does have uh, the ability to unlock the cargo doors uh, individually of the, uh, the rest of the at the transit, so you can just do the cargo doors or you can just do the front doors as well. Uh, so there's multiple options right there. Uh, this one does have the 3.5 liter, uh, the non EcoBoost engine. There's also the EcoBoost version, which was, is used in the F-150, um, but this one is the 3.5 liter V6. Uh, it's paired to the 10 speed automatic transmission. 
Uh, but let's look here on the steering wheel. Uh, we do have the uh, uh, blind spot system, which does include uh, the pre-collision assist. Uh, so there's lots and lots of safety features here, uh, which is part of the driver assistance package uh, that this one has. We do have your cruise control here on the steering wheel and also controls here for the uh, center, a sort of little gauge cluster screen there, which of course includes all of your trip and fuel information as well as some of your vehicle info in there as well. Uh, this one does have the uh, nice 12 inch display here. This is actually brand new to the Transit. Uh, brand new, it was introduced for the E-Transit, uh, the electric Transit, but this one has it as well. Uh, this is a very, very nice screen. It makes the interior look a lot more modern. Uh, this is runs Sync 4. A similar uh, setup to the F-150s, although the UI is a little bit different here. Uh, we have your climate control system down here, and then when you click home, that will kind of bring you to the home screen, which has your navigation, audio, and then your phone, and some of your apps and features. It does include your drive modes there. There's also all of your settings in here as well, all of your vehicle settings. And of course, it does have uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, all of that right there. So your climate control is operated from down here. Uh, you can click this little button here and that will sort of enlarge it and uh, give you a, a better access into there. It's a very nice, easy system to use. And again, we do have built-in navigation, uh, so that is certainly cool to see. Underneath the screen, we do have the drive mode select. Uh, there is a physical button for that if you, if you want to do it just quickly on the fly. We have normal, eco, slippery, tow haul, and then mud and ruts. Uh, so that is super cool. We also have max defrost, and you can also turn off and on the screen there as well. Again, we do have our 10-speed automatic. Uh, this includes the manual mode with the little paddle shift, or the, uh, not paddle shifter, sorry, the uh, little select shift here on the side. Uh, so if you're towing or whatever, you can have that option there. And this one does have the tow package. So it does include the trailer brake controller, which is located just down here. Lots of storage. Of course, it's a transit, uh, so it's meant for storage. Trans you have storage here. You also have some uh, connectors there and on top of the dash as well, an additional set, lots and lots of storage. You can option it with the overhead shelf. Uh, this particular one does not have that, uh, but there's a little shelving unit that you can, you can add onto these, uh, which would go right up there. But now we'll hop into the, into the rear cargo area. And we'll step into the rear cargo area here. So we do have that passenger sliding door, which we can open up right there. It is a quite a large door, and again, we do have that window in there as well. You can also get a, a driver sliding door, uh, so you can have a dual sliding door, but this one just has the single uh, passenger side. Uh, so you can see we do have our sort of second row uh, seats here. So this is the five seat configuration. You can also option these with like a basically a bus length of seats here. I believe it goes to like 18 or 19 seats uh, that you can option these in. Uh, but this one is sort of in the middle between a crew van and then the, the cargo area in the back here. Uh, but we'll step into the cargo area. And again, being the high roof version, uh, you have an enormous amount of space back here in terms of the headroom. And again, this is the long wheelbase. Uh, so it does go quite far back as well. We also do have your uh, doors back here, which you can open uh, either from the inside or the outside. And they also have the uh, opening here, so you can actually unlock the door and swing it all the way open. Uh, so it's super versatile. We also have a button right down here, which does operate the LED dome lights. So those lights up here, and there's also lights on the back as well. Uh, so it's completely lit up at night. And you can see here we have a, a lot of space up top. Uh, you can option in again with the overhead shelf. Uh, we just come a little bit farther uh, forward here, uh, but this, this particular one does not have that. Uh, but it's a cargo van. I mean, you have lots of space back here. Uh, this is super cool. Maybe if you want to go overlanding, you can obviously upfit this any way you wish. Uh, but again, this is super cool. And this does have the uh, three seats back here as well. But that'll pretty much do it for this video. If you guys are interested in ordering either a 23 or maybe even 24 Transit, uh, feel free to give us a call or visit McPhee4.com. Unfortunately, uh, Transits are pretty tough to get right now as Ford is really trying to push their F-150 lineup. Uh, but if you're interested in getting one just like this, feel free to give us a call again or visit McPhee4.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.